Hey guys, welcome back to Subnautica. So in today's video, I'll be showing you where to get the blue tablet. It is pretty scary. This video might be a little bit longer than usual or what you might like. I'm truly sorry about that. It's just reason being that it is kind of tricky to go there and the Seamoth can't reach there because the Seamoth can't go lower than 900 meters. And yes, I'm playing the normal survival mode. I'm not playing the creative. So unfortunately, we're going to have to take the cyclops but i'm gonna try to do it as quick as possible so we're gonna switch it off right over here so going down here is a lava area so if you don't know how to get to this lava area or this specific spot i'm gonna be dropping you guys a card in the top right corner so you guys can go ahead click on it and it'll show you exactly how to get here otherwise if you guys are done there you can always come back or whatsoever and we're gonna continue from this point on so we're gonna go in here and i just want to let you guys know that you should keep really really dude all right so you gotta just make sure your lights is all because there's a lot of creatures in here and also at the same time i just want to mention to you that you gotta have a purple tablet with you i actually just went all the way home to get a purple tablet can you guys believe that so we're gonna go down real quick and as you guys can see there's the lava i'm gonna go into this view we're gonna have to go this direction Okay, we're going down, just hopefully I'm not going to bump my tail against something. So here's going to be a lot of cyanide for you as well, if you want to get some cyanide. Okay, and also there's going to be one huge monster, I don't even know what you call it, it's like a, a squid or something, I'm, I'm not sure. It's not a squid, it's, it's, it's a monster, that's what it is. <laughs> it's a big huge monster. So we're going to go back into the internal view, just make sure we don't bump our heads. Also, we're going to have to go into silent mode real soon. And I just want to give you guys some advice. Usually when I use the silent mode, there it is, there it is. It drains like all my power. So usually when you stop, just make sure you turn silent mode off. And we're going to go into silent mode. As you can see, it's going down now. So we're going to go straight. So as we came out of the cave, we're just going to keep on going straight. Please don't see me. As you all can see, we're about 1.2 kilometers deep. So yeah, the Seamoth will never reach this area. Okay, it's still swimming up there. And that's where we gotta go. We gotta go up this mountain. Okay, it's going there. Nice. Look at this thing. Hey, man. I'm gonna call you Bobby. Up we go. And also, I don't just do tutorials on this channel. I also did a full Let's Play. So if you guys would love to go and check that out, I think it was pretty awesome. Scream like a girl here a few times, especially at this area. We're going to go switch the engine off. And we're going to move backwards. So for this, you're definitely going to need your Seamoth. You won't be able to do this without your Seamoth. Ah, oh, sorry, your prawn suit. Okay, we're going to go in here. So I hope you guys are still keeping track. Okay. Down we go. Also, here is going to be a few resources you guys can harvest. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to harvest it now. The nice thing is you can also just go... Oh no, we don't want the creature egg. You can just go and grab that with the other hand. So do you guys understand why I said it's going to take a little bit long this video? But I'm not going to lie, we're almost there. This is also a creature egg. Okay, we're just going to follow through. There we go. Also, we're just going to go this way. Give a small jump. Oh, give a small jump this way. Watch out for the lava head. It can actually damage your prawn suit. So this is the difficult area. So technically what I do is... I try to get like to this point over here. You know what, if we can get out on this cable over here, it's going to be perfect. Nice, so we're going to go up now. Perfect. Also, I notice when you stand and you jump and your whole space bar in, you just go so much higher and that's what you want. So somewhere here is going to be an entrance. There it is, there it is. Come on, come on, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. <laughs> Alright, and in we go. Good stuff. So what you're going to have to do at this point is I would recommend to go down with your prawn suit and you're going to have to drill this over here to get some eons. Because yeah, if you don't have a prawn suit, you're going to, well, if you don't have a purple tab, you can make a purple tab by collecting these eons. 
Also, that's one of the reasons why I've made a fabricator on my Cyclops for occasions like this. I hope I put my silent mode off, otherwise I'm going to struggle again. <laughs> Got a few extra batteries, but you don't want to use your batteries on just to use your fabricator because of a dumb maneuver. Okay, get that. Sorry, we're almost done. Obviously, you don't need so much. So what we're going to do is we're going to climb out. We're going to go to our backpack and we can go and collect, well, pick up some of those things. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to go this way. Just want to make sure. Okay, so we've got one over here. And there's a blue tablet, everyone, right over there. So you want to go ahead, insert your purple tablet. Wapow! And there it is, so you can just run straight through it as simple as that. So I do hope that this video helped everyone out. If it did, please make sure to drop a big like. If you would love to support the channel, hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you want to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you want to see one of my most recent videos, hit the icon on the right. And I'll see all of you legends in my next video, but for now, peace out.